Next week, I'm taking this car in to have a rear differential axle seal replaced. The RS4 is in storage right now, and I don't want to pull it out to do this job because I'm using this car as a daily. But I'm going to show you the pictures of what I found underneath and what I did to determine that it was one of the axle seals because that Haldex rear contraption is very complicated and we're going to see if this solved the problem after the repair is done. So be prepared for part two. The axle seal is universal on both rear axles and this is the part number from Volvo. The entire rear diff was covered in gear oil. I don't have a picture of the before but what you need to do in order to diagnose where the leak is coming from, whether it's the diagonal split on the rear diff, whether it's from the axle seals, you're going to need at least two cans of full brake cleaner, a container to catch stuff, a piece of cardboard underneath the car, some nitrile disposable gloves, and at least three or four microfiber rags. Use the ones that you save from other projects because you're going to have to trash these. And you need the gloves, especially because everything's tight down there. You're going to sometimes have the microfiber on your hand going in between different arms and stuff in order to clean everything around the axle seals because it's very hard to get the brake clean in there. So you're going to have to spray it, go in with the microfiber towel and continue until the entire diff is clean. I'm going to give the shop I'm taking it to a generic 7590 like this liquid molly stuff. For the rear diff, this is fine. This is not to be mixed up with the Haldex fluid, which is a friction promoter. So make sure if you're working on the rear diff, you're using the right oil. Uh, generic 8090 or 7590 can also be used in the transmission or the angle gear on these cars. I've also seen videos with very precise extraction techniques, uh, as per Volvo Vita claiming in those videos. I was at the Volvo dealer when I bought the axle seal and I was speaking to one of the head mechanics there and they were acting like it wasn't such a big deal. Again, in the car community, it's very known that too much fluid can get too hot in a differential and possibly blow out seals. The way this Volvo tech was talking though, that s small amount of fluid that they say to take out really is not a big deal in causing any kind of long-term damage to these cars and that person has been working there for over 20 years. You do need to extract and refill. The place I'm taking it to, they're probably just going to top it off. And we'll see how it goes. In this photo, you can see the surrounding part of the axle that goes into the diff. This is as clean as I could get it. And it was enough to show whether more oil came out or not. Here is a view of the diagonal cut I was talking about on the rear diff, where the differential housing is. That gasket can also leak. It was not leaking on this car, but that's one reason to clean everything up to see if it's leaking from that seam right there in the middle of the picture. Here's another look at the diff from underneath after it's been all cleaned up. This photo is after about three days of driving. I came back and I jacked it up. You can see where that leak is. That's on the passenger side of the diff. So the axle seal on that side is leaking. And I also want to note that even before this happened, when I was underneath the car and I physically looked at the axle seal with a flashlight through all of that tight space, I could see tears in the actual axle seal. This photo is also from the same day, but after another three or four days of driving and a good amount of highway driving, I came back and checked and the only place that was leaking was this part of the diff coming right from the passenger rear axle seal. So that's all we're going to change for now. But the fact that the entire diff was covered in fluid may mean that it takes longer for all of the leaks to show themselves. But being that it's winter and that I don't want to trash this diff because I have seen S40 T5 all wheel drive and V50 T5 all wheel drive other Volvos with trashed rear diffs and the cars are all being parted out online. So taking care of any component of these all wheel drive systems is very crucial to not turn these Volvos into normal front wheel drives.